a sweater song by Weezer from their out their uh, self-titled album, the Blue Album. I'm not gonna. Could you pass me the stapler, please? The stapler. Oh, God. What's Spanish for stapler? Sacapunta? That's, that's a pencil sharpener. I'm so sorry. Wow, what an idiot. Okay. I don't know what I mean. Isn't it La Grappa and Dora? All right, so here it is. Here's your review packet. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I'll do it. What do you got Wait, are you live? Can you go I'm live. live. I'm already live. Oh, God. You can actually go stapler. Oh, my God. Dylan. Dylan, we just went Anton. live. Here you go. Hey, Amo Anton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, your name is Anton. Do it. Do it! No, Do no, it! Yeah, just in case you thought we were special. You are. May I state it for the record? I have never loved a group of students this much since I worked at Newark. Cap. Sorry, Indian Creek. And Sandwich. Cap. All right. So, here we go. Guys, your quiz tomorrow is over these proofs. These diagrams should look similar. Um, I think we figured out yesterday that depending on what I mark on the diagram, though, is kind of how the proof works, right? So, I did change the givens for these from your packet. All right, ladies, shut up. I did change the givens. So the process of solving is going to be different. Same thing with what I want you to prove. So let's just start out with this first one and get the givens down. A to C and B C the same. Thank you very much. No. Uh, so how it looks like you got young. I know, right? You looked really. We also know A E. Has a midpoint, and the midpoint is D, which means these two are the same. Not here. And we also know that BD has a midpoint, and it's E, since BD midpoint is E, and that's half. This must be half as well. So those are all congruent. We got that from all of this information. We're going to prove that CD and CE are the same. That's what you're doing on your quiz. So CD and CE are these two lines right here, these line segments. So if we can prove these two triangles the same, then their parts should be the same when we win. Which one? So what can we add to the diagram? Because that's not enough information to get these two triangles here, and all we have is two sides. Go ahead, Cheyenne. So we know that CAD is congruent to angle CBE. So these two angles are congruent. Why? Because the whole thing is an isosceles triangle, right? Which means by isosceles triangle theorem, those two angles are the same. And I think the rest you can figure out from there. We've got side angle side, right? Saying these two triangles are congruent. And if those two triangles are congruent, then their parts are congruent, namely CD and CE by CCP, right? Should I write all that out or should we skip the rest? Write it. Write it. All right, I will. By side angle side, I know that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BEC. And that means by CCP. CD and CE are congruent because they're corresponding parts. I'm done. That's it. Wait, is the quiz going to be this many pages? No. My quiz ever as big as the review packet. Absolutely I don't know. not. Nope, because I take off questions and then I spot you those points. <laughs> My bad. How do you feel? No, it's all good. <sighs> but instead of just saying no and then you'd ask next time, I wanted to give you like a it never will. Okay. That's all. Uh, let's look at number two. Are those CD and CE lines? They are segments, so I should do this. When we don't use the little line over the top, what it means is that their values are equal, right? So values are equal, figures are congruent. So if I said congruent, I'm talking about the lines themselves. Less you. 
two. All right, so we're given triangle ABC. That's the big triangle. We're told that AD and BF are the same. So that means that these are the same, right? And CD and CF are the same. So that means these are the same. We're also told that DE and AC are perpendicular. Boop. And same thing with F, E, and C. We need to prove that E is the midpoint of AB. So for E to be in the midpoint of AB, right, doesn't that mean that AE and EB would have to be congruent, right? So if we can prove those two so these uh, two segments congruent, then by definition, E is the midpoint of AB, right? So what two triangles do these two segments belong to? This one and this one. So if we can prove those two triangles the same, then their parts are the same, and then by definition, that's true. So right now we've got an angle and a side. Notice they're 90 degree angles, so HL is on the table, guys. We need some more information. How can we get it? Go ahead, Housing Gay. The whole triangles and I toss these triangles. Oh yeah! So check it out. This thing and this thing is going to be congruent, right? So the logic is that AC is equal to orange plus red, right? Well, this thing's also equal to orange plus red, so they must equal each other. So by segment addition possible, AC is congruent to BC, which then means we can use isosceles triangle theorem, right? Isosceles triangle theorem says if the two sides are the same, then the two opposite angles are the same, right? So that means we get this for free as well by isosceles triangle theorem. Remember the theorem says if you have the sides, you get the angles. The converse is the reverse of that. If you have the angles, you get the sides. Do we have enough information to prove the triangle is congruent now? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, we do. What do we got? Nope. Angle, side, angle. Not SAS, but angle, side, angle. ASA. So it turns out we didn't use HL even though there's a 90 degree. Happens, right? By ASA, those two triangles are congruent. So I'm going to call that triangle ADE. And the other triangle I'll call BFE. Well, in order for this to be the midpoint of AB, I need to prove these two segments the same. So I'm going to use CCP to do that. Notice AE is in the first and third position. And BE is in the first and third, which means these must be congruent by CCP. We're not done, because that's not what they asked us to end with, right? So now we're going to say, look, this thing's divided into two equal pieces. By definition, that means E is the midpoint, right? So by def, E is the midpoint. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Okay. box. How do you feel about that nonsense? Feeling decent? Are you able to see the big triangle, the big picture? I think that's what a lot of you are missing out on. I feel about two. Feel these? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would highly encourage you when you're studying to go back and try these without looking at how I did it. Um, use this and the packet we've been doing the last week or so. <coughs> Let's look at number three. Remember when it took us like an entire day to get through two of these? They're getting better. All right, A, B, C is a triangle. We are given that A, C, and B, C are the same. So that means this, right? D, E, and E, F are the same. D, E, and E, F are the same. And they give us that angle A, E, F is congruent to B, E, D. So we've got A, E, F and BED. This should feel familiar, right? We want to prove that AE and BE are the same. So kind of what we were doing last time, right? These two bottom segments need to be proven congruent, and then we're good to go. So we need to prove those two triangles congruent. <coughs> what you got for me? What do you see? Giant? Mm -hmm. So same question. Same answer, two times in a row. Nice job, Cheyenne. So see how these two sides are the same, right? That means the whole triangle is isosceles. So by isosceles triangle theorem, our opposite angles are congruent, right? 
Remember, the theorem starts with the sides and gives you the angles. So by isosceles triangle theorem, angle, let's call it DAE, can be written to angle FB. Great. What else do you see? Yeah, Jericho. Um, in order to use CCP, we have to first prove the triangles are congruent. So we don't know these triangles are congruent yet, because all we have is an angle and a side, right? But once we prove them congruent, then that'll be our last step. Does that make sense? You can't use CCP until you know the triangles are the same. You can't just have two random triangles and be like, those parts match up, because I said so, right? <laughs> CCP is, these triangles are the same triangle, so their parts should match up. Which one's the ones that line up, that correspond, right? D, A, E, and F, B, E. Yeah, but we're talking about the angles, not the triangles. Oh. Right? Good. Does everybody see that? We haven't said anything about the triangles yet, so we can't use CCP. Did you have something, Bailey? You know, like, second addition postulate? Yeah. Like, with the but with angles. So angle addition postulate. Yeah, huh? okay. yeah, no, it's good. That's good. Yeah, that. So she's saying that, look, I've got two overlapping angles here, right? So if I cut out their overlap, this green part, right, what's left over should be the same on both sides. So we have orange minus green equals what's left over, right? Well, if I look at this side, orange minus green also gets me what's left over. So what's left over must be the same. So this angle here and this angle here must be the same. And that's by angle addition postulate. Yeah, segment addition, right, the overlapping thing, but with angles. So by angle addition postulate, AAP, I know that angle DEA, I guess I could have written AEE, -E, or AEP -E for alphabetical order, but I didn't, will be congruent to FEB. Now do I have enough information to prove those two bottom triangles congruent? Yeah. I do, and what are they going to be congruent by? Angle, angle, side, exactly. By angle, angle, side, the bottom two triangles congruent. I'm going to call that triangle ADE. And then again, I have to match up their letters. I'm not just doing this randomly. A is made up of this side here that's part of the red, right? And then the unknown side, side that's part of the red and the unknown side, so A and B go together, which makes sense because their angles are congruent. Then D is this top angle here. It's made up of the blue and then part of the red. Blue and part of the red is F. And then E here is this purple angle. It's made up of the blue and the unknown. Blue and unknown is also E. Again, order matters here for these letters because then we can use CCP like Jared was saying. By CCP, we want to prove AE and BE the same. Look, AE first and third, BE first and third. So they're corresponding, right? So they are corresponding congruent parts. That's what that stands for. AE and BE are in corresponding positions. First and third, first and third. So they are corresponding congruent parts. So by CCP, AE is congruent to B. How are you feeling? Anna? Okay. I think we've seen that seeing that this whole thing's isosceles is really important, right? How do we feel about angle addition postulate? Overlapping angles, taking out the middle? Feel good about that? That's what I was trying to figure out. Right? Okay, you want me to explain it again? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So see how this orange angle right here overlaps. Overlaps with the same orange angle over here, right? They're congruent. Okay. So they share this middle part. So the logic is this bit left over, right, is going to be equal to whatever orange minus green is, right? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Orange minus green is how much that is. Yeah. Well, this guy is also orange minus, minus green. So they must be equal. Yeah, right? That makes sense. Okay. Again, the key is, is that not only they're overlapping, but they're the same, right? So when you say, what is that angle equal to? Orange minus green, what's that equal to? Orange minus green. Oh, they're the same thing, right? That's the key for angle addition, or angle addition possible, AAP. How do you guys feel about AAP? Feeling better? Overlapping angles that are the same, right? We can cut out their middle and get the sides. Feeling decent about that? Okay. Let's look at number four. 
All right, so they tell you ADEB is a straight line, so that's a line straight across there. AE and BD are congruent, so let's mark that. AE is this, and BD is that. We have overlapping congruent segments, so what do you think we're going to use? Exactly, right? So we're going to end up using that. So that was this. We also got CD and CE are congruent. So that means these two segments are congruent. So what does that tell you about triangle CDE? It's isosceles, so our isosceles triangle theorems are in play, right? Converse or whatever. And then we've also got these angles, ACE and BCD. So ACE is this big angle up here. And BCD is this big angle right here. Oh man, what do we have there? Overlapping congruent angles. So what do you think we end up using? Angle addition positive. Right. So we got a lot of material to work with here. So what do you want to go after first? Do you want to? What, what do you see first? What do you want to do? Go ahead, Bailey. I'm going to do the angles addition positive. Okay, we'll do the orange part first. So by angle addition positive, what? Looks to me that they both share this angle right here, right? So orange minus black gets me this, right? And it's also true that orange minus black gets me this, which means they must be the same. So by angle addition postulate, those two angles are the same. We're going to say angle, let's use, um, let's use that for Angle ACD, this guy right here, is congruent to angle BCD. This angle right here. Be cool with that? All right, awesome. What else do you see? Shelby? The triangle is isosceles. Okay, so we've got this right here, which has isosceles. So by isosceles triangle theorem, those two angles are the same, right? So by isosceles triangle, just the theorem, because we started with the sides, and now we've got the angles. We know angle C, D, E is congruent to angle C, E, D. Rad. Okay. What else can we do? Go ahead, Hannah. Um, what's the difference between the converse and without the converse? Okay, so the regular theorem says if you have the sides, then you get the angles. The converse says if you have the angles, then you also get the sides. Okay. So it just works both ways, right? How's it going? Um, A, D, C, and the C, D, D are linear pair. Ooh, so check it out, guys. These two angles, the purple and the red, are a linear pair, right? So we can say 180 minus red should get me purple, right? Well, this is also going to be equal to 180 minus red, right? So that means they must be equal. So linear pair is when they equal 180, right? Angle addition is when they equal each other, right? 180 is a very specific case, right? So by linear pair theorem, LPT, we know that angle ADC is congruent to angle BEC. Rad. All right, so it looks like we've got angle side angle right here. We can prove those triangles congruent. So we didn't even need to use the bottom part. What are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove that. Oh, did I not write the proof? No. Ah, that's funny. All right, so let's write down what we need to prove. Uh, let's prove that. AC is congruent to BC. That's funny. I wonder if that got deleted on accident. All right, so we could have gotten more information from here, right? So let's do that. I'm not going to write it down, but I'll show you what we could have done. See how the green overlaps? So we can use segment addition positive. So green minus this segment equals this segment, right? Green minus the same segment equals this segment, so those two segments must be the same, right? Is that okay? All right. So we still have enough, though, angle, side, angle, to get it done. So I'm just going to call it a day there, right? Multiple ways to get this one done. So I'm going to say by angle, side, angle, triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BEC. And then by CCP, we can get their parts, right? by CCP, looks like AC and BC are the same. We're getting a lot of first and third position today, I'm not sure why.
Are you starting to feel okay? Nice. I think it's important to practice writing this on your own. For some of you guys, I feel like you see it when we've got it here, but being able to do it on your own is important. Giving yourself time to do that is important. So see if you can go back and you can write the flow of the proof correctly. Right. Let's look at five. Woo! That's fun looking. You like it? Oh, come on! Yeah, Bailey, you have a question? Okay, I'm just going to do the givens first and then we'll get into it, okay? So FCG and ABE are lines and they're also parallel. So FCG is this top part right here and it's going to be parallel, so I'm going to use a parallel symbol, to ABE, which is this right here. Cool. So they're parallel. So we should be looking for transversals and corresponding angles, right? Cat, right? Um, AC, it says, this segment right here is bisecting angle BCG. So let's take a look at that. Angle BCG is this angle right here. BCG, right? And it's telling us that AC cuts it in half. So does everybody see the big angle right here? BCG? Yeah? It's saying this is cutting it in half, which then tells us that these angles must be the same, right? If it's cut in half, we have two equal pieces. Does everybody see that? BCG is cut in half by this line segment? Yes or no? Yes? Okay. So that was that. Um, D is the midpoint of AC. So it says D, here's AC, D is the midpoint, which means these two segments must be the same. We want to prove that BD, this segment here, bisects angle ABC. Angle ABC is this big angle, right? This bottom right angle of that triangle, the big triangle, right? We want to prove that this is cutting it in half. So what we want to prove is that this angle here and this angle here are the same, right? And then by definition that fits it. So we need to prove these two triangles the same. Then by CCP we'll get their angles, right? And then by definition we win. So right now we have a side and then we have a lone angle with no matching angle over here. So we need some more information. Bailey, what do you see? Shared side. Shared side. So yeah, we can get that for free. Does everybody see how they share a side? If I share a side, <coughs> DE is congruent to itself. So D, or sorry, not DE, DB. DB works for both triangles, right? That's what we're saying. Remember, shared side is where they overlap, right? This triangle side overlaps with this triangle side. They use the same side, right? So that's convenient. Now we've got two sides, and if we can just get that other angle to match up somehow, maybe we can get something. I don't know. What else do you see? We need some big brain plays for this one. How's it get? Corresponding angles. All right. So, how do you see them, and can you help us illustrate where they are? It's a parallel line. It's, it's, um, it says um, AC bisects uh, that angle, the mm -hmm. C, the given angle, and um, if, it, um, if they're parallel, it would hit the same angle. What angle is the same as what angle? Uh, C, or D, C, B, and D, D C, B, B, this angle? D, A, B. D, A, B. All right, so these aren't corresponding because we don't have um, like an intersection where they're both going to be in the same spot, right? There's no real intersection down here. So what we need to do is extend some lines first and then we're going to get there, okay? So what lines do we need to extend? Do you want to say something? Linear pair. Linear pair? Where do you see the linear pair? A, D, C. A, D, C. The line that cut is line B. Ooh, these two are linear pair. Oh, yeah. that, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are a linear pair. If we knew what this angle was, then we could say that this angle is related to it, but we don't know about either, so I can't really mark much about that. We know that those two, whatever they are, do add up to 180. That is true. But we don't know much other than that, right? It could be like 90 and 90, it could be 180, it could be 70 and 110. We don't know, right? We don't know how that relates to anything. Go ahead, Taylor. Um, extend line A to side. Okay, so when we extend that, we need to call that a new point. Let's call it what? T for Taylor? T for Taylor. Can All right. Can you extend this one too? Yeah. I can. Do you want to extend it both ways? Just this down one. here? Okay. And then you can S for Swanstrom. Cap for to find T A S. 
Okay, so first we're going to extend those lines. We're going to say let there be line T A B E and let there be segment S A D C. Does everybody see how I did that? Okay. And now Taylor's saying, look, I have corresponding angles. So ignore all this other crap. I've got an intersection here, right? And it's the bottom left corner of that intersection. So if I were to extend this out, right, we'd have bottom left corner. See that housing gate? And look, we have bottom left corner down here. So by cap, those angles are the same. What we have basically, guys, is this. <coughs> Do you see that? Oh, no, you don't. Do you see that now? That's what's going on. Yeah? Yep, that's right. So by CAP, angle GC, or let's do DCG, is congruent to angle SAT, SAT. And then she's also saying by vertical angles, those are vertical, right? DAB, or let's do bad. Angle SAT is congruent to angle BAB. Angle bad. Great! So we probably can prove the triangles congruent. Those two triangles, how are they congruent? Uh oh, we have a problem. What do we have? We have ass. Hey, when that happens. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. You've got it. Who else sees it? Yeah, Taylor? What? You see it? Shelby? Taylor? I know. I was going off a bit. I was like, I wanted to do it, but then I decided not to, but I did it anyway. It's embarrassing. You get it, Calvin? How about you, Zed? So, see, Bailey? I'm lost. All right. All right. Are you up to here, or is it just my names that are confusing you? Uh, after the let there be part. Got it. So we created these. See how these two angles are corresponding? They're in the both in the bottom left corner. That's yeah. basically what we have here, Bo. Right? We have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Yes. Right. I see that. So a bunch of other crap, but yeah, corresponding. Right. And then by vertical, these are the same. Uh, Better. Great. Thank you for asking. Let's see. We have ass now. A S S. So that's yeah. not enough to get it done. However. Jerrica and a bunch of other people saw this whole thing now is isosceles because those two angles are the same, right? Remember if we have these two angles? Yeah, I see it now. Right? It, yeah. See, that's the key. Don't forget to look at the big picture. So we're going to say by, let's do. And that'd be the converse. Yeah, buddy. So by isosceles triangle, sorry, isosceles triangle theorem converse. Right, the symbol is the same because it's talking about an isosceles triangle, and that's defined by its sides. Right? Could we define it by its angles? I mean, we could, but we define it by its sides. Sorry, guys. By this, we know that angle. Or I'm sorry, side. What do we got? CB. So we'll call it BC. Congruent to BA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enough. <coughs> and so now we know. The triangles are congruent, right? Because we have tons of information. We got side angle side going on here. We got side side side. Let's use side side side. It's up to you. Though. By side side side, the triangles are congruent, right? So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. A lot of it. By side side side, triangle <coughs> ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. <gasps> we did it, guys. We did it. We did it. Like oh, wait, no. No, that's no. Nope. Nope. We're going to prove BD bisects this angle, so we need to prove these two angles the same. So we're going to use CCP. By CCP, the, this angle should be the same as that angle. So we should have A, B, D, right? A, B, D, first, third, second, third. So angle A, B, D. Congruent to first, second, third over here, C, B, D. Is that the right angle? C, B, D. It is. These two angles are right. Yay! Do you see how it's first, second, third in that order? Right? So we're allowed to say that. What? Nothing. Guys, it's the weed thing. And 
now, by definition, <coughs> BD must bisect angle A, B, C. Oh, yeah! How do you like them? I like the angles. Don't be afraid of parallel. It just means we're going to use cap, right? Everybody likes cap. What's happening? Uh, angle ABC. A, B, C is this big angle right here. A, B, C. I know. For real? Never mind meaning you got it, or never mind I'm tired of talking. Uh, but you did get it? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, don't be afraid of parallel. Six. All right, so it says CA and CB are the same thing. Ooh, what does that tell you? The whole triangle is isosceles, so we're going to use that in a second. They tell us FAB and FABA are the same, so that means these angles are the same. Ooh. So what does that tell you about the, this triangle at the bottom here? I can converse. zoom in one. I felt the converse. We're going to get those sides, right? We're going to prove ADF and BEF the same. So guys, just so we're clear, that's this triangle or that triangle. Right? So that's what we're trying to prove the same. Okay. So, I think somebody already said it. By isosceles triangle theorem, we know that angle D a, B, yeah, is congruent to angle E, B, A. So we got these two angles down here, right? That's the theorem. If you have the sides, you get the angles. I think we also had somebody say that if we have the angles, we get the sides. So these sides must be the same. So by isosceles triangle theorem, converse, and there's a good example of back to back what the theorem is versus the converse. We know that AF, haha, <laughs> yeah, is congruent to BF. Aww. <laughs> BFAF. <laughs> this is live, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now what? What else do you see? Angle addition postulate. Check it out. Red minus blue should get us this angle, right? Red minus blue should get us that angle. So they must be congruent. Oh, uh, yeah. By angle addition postulate, angle DAF def, is congruent to angle EBF. Oof. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. All right. You sound like a sim. <laughs> We still can't prove the triangle's congruent, though, because all we have is a side and an angle, right? We need more. What do you see, Hannah? Vertical angles. Vertical angles. Woo -hoo! All right, so this angle and this angle are the same by vertical, yeah? yeah? Whenever we have an intersection like this across, right, then we're able to use vertical angles. So by VAT, angle DFA, DFA, is going to be congruent to angle EFB. Do you ever have a Furby? No. I don't know one of those. Save tip, save tip. All right. So now we can say the triangles are congruent by ASA. And then we win. Make sure you write it the same way they do at the top. We're done. It'd be faster if you just took a picture. But that's okay. I know, right? No talent. No talent. What the? All right. EG is congruent to BG. A, B, and D, E are the same. That's right. CG and FG are the same. <coughs> Notice this only refers to this much, right? If we wanted the whole thing, we would have to use squiggles. <coughs> oh, we still haven't watched the squiggles video. Yeah. Can't you use the theorem for the little triangle? Yeah, we can. So, 
We're going to prove angle A and angle B the same, by the way. That's the two bottom angles. Oh. By isosceles triangle theorem, angle G E B again is congruent to angle G B E. Good. Right? What else you got for me? Cheyenne. Yeah, check it out. This is another segment addition postulate up here. Orange plus red gets me the whole thing, right? We already had this one. Right? Orange plus red gets me the whole thing. All of these we've already had, except they're slightly different. So orange and red makes this. Orange and red makes that. So by segment addition postulate, the whole thing must be congruent to the whole thing, right? So by SAP, we know BC is congruent to EF. So I'm going to mark that on my diagram like this. Swiggles. Cool? No crying here, Erica. What else? Yeah. Vertical angles. Yes. Now, I'm it's true that these are vertical, but they're not going to be helpful because those angles are a part of this quadrilateral, and we don't know much about quadrilaterals yet, right? It's true. Those are vertical, but I'm not going to write it down. What else you got for me? We haven't used the bottom part yet, right? No. Tell me about it. Go ahead, Jerrica. Um, this side and this side aren't the same. So remember, to use isosceles triangle theorem, we have to have two congruent sides. Yeah, we are. That's why. That's okay. You can do sap on the bottom. So check it out. Blue minus this middle part is going to get us this, right? Blue minus the same middle part is going to get us that. So these must be congruent. Side by <coughs> sap A E is congruent to D B. Now here's the deal. Those sides only apply to this much, right? So that only applies to this quadrilateral. So we're not going to need that. We've already got the whole thing here. Guys, we have enough to prove the triangles from your end already. See how we have this big side? And we have this angle? And we have this big side? We already have side angle side. So we didn't need that. We already have side, right? Angle, side. Side, angle, side. Yeah, we already had the bottom, right? Because of the blue, right? But you got the little piece, that's true. Again, a lot of information you got out of this. Some stuff isn't really that useful, but it's fine to write it. So this was extraneous. Right? Don't need that. But we can say by side angle side, triangle is congruent. ABC congruent to triangle DEF. And then by CCP, we can say their angles are the same, right? Angle A and angle B. Boop, boop. Angle A is first, D is first. So angle A is congruent to angle D. And we're done. Seven. Ready to look at Ocho? Ooh. ABD is a line, so the bottom part is a straight line. It says BC and DE are parallel, so that's this. So looking for cap, right? C and E are the same, so this angle and this angle is the same. And B is the midpoint of AD, which tells us this, right? We gotta prove the two triangles congruent. So what do you think? 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 Probably should extend some lines, right? What lines should we extend? Which one? E, D, and C, B. Yep, let's extend our, per our parallels. Let's call them, so Shelby, Veltro. Why do you say it like that? Isn't it Veltro? Veltro. <laughs> Veltro? Veltro? Yeah. By, oh wait, let there be, right? Let C, B, S, 
uh -huh. and EDV. Right? That works. Let there be that, right? <coughs> What does that tell you? Yeah. You can expand line EV and then you can have vertical angles. That's true. I'm not going to do that because while we'll get those two angles there, it won't help us get either of these two because there's no overlap. Okay? Um. Check it out. What if I turn the paper sideways? Would you see it now? We have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, don't we? This is the transversal. I don't need to extend it to get it done, but I will. So I'll turn it back. Let's call it, well, we can't do Bailey. Right? Bailey is first name, last name, same letters. So we'll do Bailey and Hannah. Can you do B, 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 H, or pot? B, H. Oh, there is already B. Do P for pot, do Jervin. P for pot. All right, so we have a transversal cutting two parallels, right? So that means corresponding angles are congruent. So that means these angles are congruent. See how they're in the bottom? So if I turn this, right? Do you see how they're in the bottom left corner of their intersections, right? We've got this going on. They're the same. So that's cap. By CAP, those two angles are congruent. Wait, where did you get that angle? Can I mark these as well? No. Like, why did you mark those ones and not the other ones? So here are our two parallels. Ignore everything else, okay? And our transversal. So if I get rid of this and I get rid of that, do you see it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> do you see that, guys? We've got this going on. See it? Everything else we can ignore, right? That's cat. Same thing if I do it this way. Do you still see it now? Yeah. Yeah, right? So by cap, we know angle ABC is congruent to angle BDE. And if the angles are congruent, then what do we have? We've got angle, angle, side, right? So the triangle is congruent. ABC, congruent to triangle BDE. Great question. Angle, angle, side. Oh, you can skip a side? Yep, remember you can skip up to one thing. See how when I went to that angle, right? I skipped just the middle side, right? Yeah. That's fine. You can skip one thing. You can't skip two. So for instance, if I wanted to say SAA, I couldn't because it's side, skip an angle, skip a side, right? I skip two things to get from here to here. So I have to call it angle, angle, side. <coughs> I could call it SAA, I guess, as well. Feeling okay? All right, nine. We've seen it. Let's look at eleven. Ooh, BC and EF are parallel. So these two are parallel. They tell us DAE and DBE are ninety. So DAE, DAE. Oh my God. Uh, that is not correct. I want D, E, F. Change that to D, E, F. I think I might move the letters after I did this one. Sorry, guys. And then this angle down here. So we get D, E, F, and A, B, C. That's my thing. They're both 90. Cool. All right. They tell us A, F, and C, D are the same as well. So we've got A, F, the same as C, D. And we want to prove the two triangles the same. Which triangles? A, B, C which is the bottom triangle, and this top triangle, DEF. So these two right triangles, we're trying to prove the same, okay? We've got parallel lines. We should be looking for cap, corresponding angles, right? So go ahead, Bailey, what do you see? Can you extend the parallel lines? Yep, always extending your parallels is a good idea. So now we've got this, let's say P and then H. For pot Hannah. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Okay, cool. Now what do you see? So these two top triangles share a side. So let's do that. So FC is congruent to FC by shared side. Also, check this out, guys. This angle here is congruent to this angle here because these angles are the same. So we have cap for these two, right? And then we have vertical to get that. Does everybody see it? Can you do a one Yep, you can get this one too, right? So by cap, I have this angle and this angle the same, because we have two parallels cut by a transversal, right? So I'm going to say by CAP, I've got angle EFC congruent to angle um, that was HCD. And then by vertical angles, I got angle HCD congruent to angle BCF. And if you want to be like Shelby, you can write the same thing, vertical angles over here for this guy, but we're not going to eat that. So now we've got angle, angle, side, right? Angle, angle, side. So the triangle is here. Triangle ABC. Best of luck. If you want, watch the other uh, videos from today. That'll be up. Um, we'll do different ones in different classes, and I'll try to make sure I cover all of the questions, OK? Um, practice these on your own. If you want, at the end of the day, come and see me. I'll have blanks of these, so you can try it on your own without looking at your answers, OK? So what probably happened is I looked at the site and you really presented the money. Dummy. Did it have your name on it? Then I'm just a dummy. Okay. Now we have to take the credit. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for finding it. I'm not sure why that's happening or how it's happening, but it is. Hmm. How am I missing papers when I go through and do it? 